dance, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way, I couldn't find a job. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Black mass, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way, I couldn't find a job. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. I woke up, then I logged in to that Urban X where they be flexing with that blog in. Put it down, cause my little homie called in. Had to bail him out, he in trouble with the law again. Black skin can't win in the white world. Seen a brother kill his own kid for that white girl. We ain't wanna go to school, but we had to. Every February it was scary in them classrooms. Shimmy y'all, shimmy gay. Old dirty bastards can't own dirty slaves, so they own dirty masters. Black dot found a pot as a youngin' broke it down for his son, and now he serve it to the masses. Black mass, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way, I couldn't find a job. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Black mass, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way, I couldn't find a job. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Urban excellence, a product of my residence. From four score to 44, Obama was the president. I told mama I ain't tryna go to church I'm like Adam, every Adam is a product of the dirt And I've been reaping what he sold I got the product, got the dirt And I can teach you what I know But then you got him put in work You in trouble if you waiting on the government I told my bro I make it out the hood And that's a covenant Peace, peace Welcome back to another episode of the Urban X Podcast. We your host. I'm Malcolm. This is the artist formerly known as The Black Dot. Checking in. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Dwayne. For those of you who didn't know. This is, yes. Yeah, that's why it's artist formerly known formerly as. Formerly known you know as. But formerly known as. But now what am I known yeah. as? True. True. I'm Dwayne. Okay. All right. Nice to meet you. It feels, see, I, it feels weird hearing people call you that, though. You know what I mean? Yes. And people were asking, like, what's that all yeah, about? What yeah. are the exclusives? Hold up. Thank you, Famously Blacker. Thank Famously you. Blacker. Thank all you. Right, in thank Flight you. Bad Wi-Fi. Shame on them. Shame in, on them. Okay, In Flight Bad Wi-Fi. Shame, Shame on, on them. them. But thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate that continued support. Oh, absolutely. For what it is that we do. Absolutely. So what were you saying? Sam, my name is Dwayne, and I haven't been Dwayne mm-hmm. In a long time, mm-hmm. I've been KD, the captain, Cool D, Mr. Delirious, mm. so-and-so, blacked out, all these things, and my mama named me Dwayne. She did. So you come back full circle to who you are, and you let these titles go, mm-hmm. and you. And so I'm returning back to that. And so that's what that's really all about. But if you call me blacked out, I'm not, I'm not stressed, I'm not a stickler. Mm. Like when my name was Divine Intelligent, Great God Allah, you had to call me Divine Intelligent. Like the whole thing? Great God Allah. Like a pit name slick back, you say the whole thing? You gotta say the whole thing. Got I'm you. Divine Intelligent, yeah. Great God Allah. <laughs> and you know what I mean? Because that's what, what it was. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and if you call me anything else, I wanna put the beats on the mm-hmm. way Muhammad Ali put the beats on that dude mm-hmm. who was calling him mm-hmm. Sonny Lister. Got you. And okay. my mother was like, your name, your, your name, yeah, your name is, is, is what? Yeah. Mom, my name is Divine Intelligent. <laughs> Great God, Allah, and I don't eat pork no more. Really? Well, I'm making pork chops <laughs> with smothered gravy yeah. and rice and green beans yeah. and a tall thing of Kool-Aid the way you like it. Mm-hmm. I'm not dealing with that. You know, I told you this story. I went mm-hmm. to my room, and that little smoke thing from the <laughs> cartoons, that little smoke signal said, and I floated into the kitchen <laughs> like this. You put the lessons down? Put, put the up. lessons down and said, I'm going to have to be God tomorrow. <laughs> like, this is a reset. Yeah. And I tore that yeah. shit up, you know. Thank you, guys, for being here, though. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your continued support. Absolutely. We love you um, and the whole nine yards. And Malcolm, um, so today was the big day at school. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Today, today yeah. was a big day. Um, I was the parent reader at Noble School today. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Were well, you yeah. nervous? I actually was. These are three-year-olds. Yeah, I was just like, what if they, like, you know, are you in front of 
thousands of people here. Yeah, yeah. But in front of three year olds. Yeah, I was just like, there. you know, I gotta make sure I'm, you know, I'm animated enough. I yes. gotta, you know, I sell the story. The story is a Halloween story because you know it's Halloween yeah, coming up yeah, soon. Yeah. So I had to, you know, do that. And, but I brought some applesauce for the kids. Won them over immediately. Immediately. That's you know what I'm saying. Do it. That's gonna some do applesauce it. packets. Noble was so happy to see me. Mm-hmm. So that was cool. And I was telling you, if, if there was a way to kind of like crystallize like those moments. That's what it's all about. It's like a drug. I take it all the time, all man. Like the I time. have like that was just like And then you get the cool points. You know, oh, so your pops is yeah. cool, man. This and that. I ain't gonna lie, my wife had me beat. Because I'm a big black man, not a tall, but <laughs> yeah. I come to the school and they're like, oh, yeah, and I yeah. would come on my hip hop ish because that's what it was. And and wifey would come with all these goodies. The kids I told, they would find the schedule. Oh, Malcolm, e- Elon's mom yeah. is, is, uh, you know, she's, she's yeah. coming on that day. And she yeah. would bring all of these good yeah. snacks and they would see me and be like, hi, hi, sir. You yeah. Know? So I'm just warming them up because the next time I'm a reader, you know what I mean? This book by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad kids. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Message to the black man. Message to the black man. Noble, you come sit here. Noble, sit here. Yeah. We're going to build. You know no, what I'm but saying? It was really cool. Really cool. Um, And again, like those moments. Love those. Yeah, yeah. And, and get moments. used to them uh, because uh, it, it shows participation, yeah. act, you know, and, and you really can't buy those kind of moments. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So I kind of wanted to address a few things early. Okay. First of all, so oh yes, we got the hats, we guys. All, oh, they all oh, on the site now. The oh, oh, the oh, flavors. Oh, oh, we got God. brown. Oh, 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 this uh, goes. Yeah, this goes. Yeah, yeah, that, you damn right that oh, goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's, yeah a, that's a. That's a. I didn't uh, even think about it. I didn't even think about that. You know what I mean? That's goes. a. That, that's a show shot thing. Yeah, man, we here. And it goes with the brown hoodie. With the brown hoodie too. You that's right. That's right. So you know, we we thought about you know cross. Cross promotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On so, that, so that's that's gonna fly. So we got this one. We got the red. Got the blue. And this is teal. It's not yes. green. It's teal. It's teal. But we got that orange hoodie. So yes. if you into Miami, you know what I'm saying so that's gonna fly. And these is twenty five bucks so. for now. So jump on that. Yeah, these are like really, really nice. And we only do quality up here. You yeah, know you that. know we only do quality. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, if, if you. If you rock with us. But that lends to kind of what I wanted to talk about. So, you know, I read into some of the comment sections and people's like, uh, with all this craziness going on in the world, man, y- y'all thumbnail, y'all talking about, you know, this and that. And, and I had to explain to the person because mm-hmm. one person's views represent a few a lot, people, a few people feel yeah, that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I wanted to explain to them that we rent a public space. Mm-hmm. And that public space, space is going to be called, let's Call it Club YouTube. Okay. And if you know, if you rent any public space, you already know it comes with rules and regulations. Yeah. Y'all can't smoke in here. Yeah. Stay inside the club. Ain't no drug thug. Leave your no gun plant. at home. Leave your gun at home. Right, 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 right. This right. and that. And and that's that's the signed contract, mm-hmm. or you may blow your deposit. Mm-hmm. And right, and so now with the club YouTube, I want you to think almost in reverse. In Club YouTube, you can be ratchet. Mm-hmm. You can disrespect women. You can disrespect men. You can talk violence. You can talk drugs. You can talk eating buttholes. Anything <laughs> that builds up Club YouTube. Yeah. They like that. Right? Right. But if you in another club, part mm-hmm. of Club YouTube, and you rent a space... And you're talking positivity. Right. You're talking raising up your people. You're talking about raising the vibration, raising the frequency, making people aware, honoring the black man and woman mm. and all of that. It's not looked upon the way you think it's looked upon. It's true. Right? And so they, listen, their security guards are highly advanced. They got three high-tech security guards mm. called Al Go and rhythm, mm. and these three <laughs> security guards, like Al Go and rhythm, like what you did with they that. They like listen by the door, yeah. And and if they don't hear a little bit of ratchetness going on, they'll come bust in, and you know yeah. what I'm saying, and things of that nature. So there's a fine line of a game you have to play when you're renting this public space. Yeah. Now I hate to go here, but I have to. We left YouTube. We did. We tried. For all the new people, we left 
And we said, because we want to just give it to you, unadulterated, true, highest vibration possible. And we said, we had 50,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. If 10% of them come over with us at $5, we're fine, we'll survive. Mm -hmm. It didn't happen. Yeah. 5% did not come over with us. Yes. That, yeah. I yeah. want to keep it a bean with you. Yeah. Not 5% came over with us. We did 60 shows. Good shows. 60 good shows. So we went from 18,000 to 25,000 a show to 1,800. Yeah. For 50 shows. And you know how it is in relationship. Yeah. When you leave a chick <laughs> and you regret it. <laughs> And so we was looking at YouTube, and we called her. Hey, she, hey, she ain't that bad. We was like, yo, hey, girl, how you doing? And she said, what do y'all want, Urban X? And we said, no, no, we just, just checking up on you, see how you doing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And checking up on you, you still yeah. looking good, girl, as always. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it, yeah. it wasn't you. It was, you know, we was on our bullshit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, and, and she and YouTube looking at us like, and I'm saying, you know, yeah. just... We miss you. We miss you. We want to come back. Yeah. We've learned from our mistakes. So YouTube let us back. Mm -hmm. And we came back. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? And 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 we you know we kept it where it needed mm -hmm. to be, threw some chatty patty mm -hmm. in there to cover up some stuff. And we put our tail between our legs and we humbled ourselves. Yeah. And we came back. Yeah. And then we, we we kept the membership going though, yeah. right? And 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 we still couldn't get uh, five percent of yeah. people to come yeah. with us, and then you know, and and now we got a morning show, which is amazing, by the way. Yeah, that's amazing. So let me preface this: yes, we, yeah, we're, we, we're not ungrateful. I'm, I'm just laying it out so yeah. you can understand what's going on. So we do a morning show, we do an after show, we do exclusives. We have people doing cooking classes, spiritual classes, geometria classes, and and all of this that we were presenting to you. Five dollars, and less than five percent people have participated, and we're not ungrateful for the people who do. Let's keep that a bean. But it's a thin line between between you know being ungrateful mm -hmm. and being taken you know sort of for granted. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. And so I'm asking you, what more can we do? We got, I mean, we, we juggling everything, trying to, to give this to you. Now, also, we had our own cable show. We did. It was on Roku, Apple Apple, TV. Fire Stick, yeah, Roku. Yeah, yeah. We were proud of it. And it, it was expensive. Cost us about $6,000. The reason I know is because I went to Mama Dot and told her, go on a bra. <laughs> now, now, side note, fellas, all women keep money in their bra. It's a metaphor. Don't let it go over your head. Yeah. And because they, they keep the, the, the easy money here, but they keep the real money in the back. So yeah. I said, Mama Dot, this is big. Let's, and she reached way back and she you know, put us out there and nobody came. Yeah, it was And free. that was absolutely free. Yeah, yeah. Right? But I learned that YouTube, people trust YouTube. It's like Amazon. Yeah. People trust YouTube more than they trust us. And so it wasn't personal. It's just that the programming says YouTube is the place to be. I want to go to YouTube. Mm. And it was very humbling for us. Again, yes. That and was the first one. That was the first one. Yeah. We had, we had an yeah. app yeah. And, and some other stuff. And that was absolutely free. And people still, yeah. they, people will buy your book from Amazon before they buy it from your website. It's true, too. Because they just trust yeah. Amazon, right? And so we did all of that. And the point I'm trying to make is all of this stuff that we put out, you say you love it, but the minute one of these podcast companies call us and offer us $5 million because they see the value in what we do, you, most of you, will turn on us in 30 seconds. You will call us sellouts. Yeah. You will say we took the bag. And some of you will even call us the Illuminati. It's true too. One thing I know is my people. <laughs> I know my too. people. Yeah. So we're stuck between a rock sort of and a hard place. So we have to juggle being in somebody else's rented space because there's only two paths. Either we get corped up, corporations, or the people support us. So I'm making 
a request. I need 250 people to sign up with us this weekend. No exceptions, no excuses. And I'm only talking to the people who can afford it, right? It's $10 mm -hmm. now, 250 people who've been rocking with us that claim you love us, show us. The ones who can't afford it, your attention is fine enough for us. I appreciate all of that. The ones who have signed up for $5 who haven't paid in six months, who think you're getting over on us, you are not. You are actually hurting us. So, but I've had a few people who say, yo, we, I'm back mm -hmm. up, catch me up. Catch up on your $5 membership if you have it. The ones who have $10 to give us once a month, please do it this weekend in short because what more do you want from us? Morning show, 90 mornings straight, after shows, exclusives, hoaxs, uh, cooking class, all of these things. And when you... Offer something for five dollars. Sometimes it devalues your product in the eyes of people. That could be it. Too. We only kept it that low because we weren't trying to get rich, and we're not trying to get rich. Famously black. Thank, thank you. Thank you again. again. Thank you again. You know what I'm saying? So the ones who have been supporting us from the beginning, this conversation ain't for you. You already know what it is. Two hundred and fifty people. I'm talking to you. You know who you are. Because ha, we can't keep doing this yeah. and expecting, you know. Yeah, somebody asked, will there be an after show? No, but there's an exclusive and there's another a new episode of that Real, was recorded and a new episode of Real Mentality. Real so Mentality. Y'all gonna be fed. Members are gonna be fed. And like we said, we got the uh, Oba uh, class, yep. the Ani uh, Asuro uh, yep. first classes Those, in that's there. That's in there as well. So, so all of that stuff. It's a bunch of stuff in there, yeah. It's a bunch of stuff in there. So Last name first, thank you. Yeah, that last name first, thank, thank you. you. That's my yearly rant. Yeah. I get that yearly rant and Malcolm and Mama Dot always cringe because it seems like I'm being ungrateful. I'm not. If you know me, you know I'm grateful for every person who comes through. But we don't have no corporate sponsorship. We don't and we we, we coming up on 500 shows. Yeah. We got 426 shows. Yeah. You know what I mean? And when you buy a hoodie, we're thankful for that too. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, thank you. Yeah, just yeah. wanted to get on my soapbox early and get that out of the way because it is very, very important. And I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. You want to do a roll call real quick? Yes, or? roll call. Somebody said, what up, Dad? I'm going to be in the South Bronx for work. How do I move safe? I'm from L.A. You good. Just, you, you know. good. Just don't come out here with, with the weird colors talking about... What up, cuz? Don't, don't yeah. do nothing. No, you're that. straight, man. Just yeah. blend into the people. Uh, yeah, you, you know, know, keep it moving. There's a, like, I feel like there has to be like a universal language. Yes. I mean, yes. all hoods kind of know. Right, but the there's universal language. You know what I mean? There's certain nuances, absolutely. Like, that certain, you should know. You certain caps. Certain, certain baseball and, hats and in, in LA. LA certain yeah. baseball hats you can't wear. Yeah. You think it's safe when, no, that, that gets, yeah, you, gets killed out of here. Overhead, whoa. That gets killed. Right. So know and understand just certain things. You're just not going to want to do Yeah, you're going to just be regular. You know, what's up, you people? Yeah, yeah they're going to pick up on very, your accent very quick. Yeah, New York people are unfriendly. Don't talk. We don't, don't like yeah, saying good morning. Don't like, we don't say good morning. We don't do that here. None of that kind of shit. You know, keep it moving. Don't, don't be sitting up looking at buildings and shit. Keep it moving. Yeah, if you're on Times Square, somebody says, here's my mixtape, don't take it. Don't take that because you owe them $50 now. Yeah, and there's nothing on there. There's nothing on there. <laughs> <laughs> and don't take a picture with Spider Man and all that. Oh, because then you owe them money too. You owe don't them money do it. Too. Don't do it. They'll beat you up. But other than that, that's it. Right? Other than that, you're good. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. get to that roll call. BX in the building. I saw Philly's LA in the tapped building. in. I saw Oakland is in the building. Delaware. Delaware is in the building. Um, I think B more for Lord of the Town is always in the building. I want to shout out my man Nova and my man Kareem. They on their way from VA right now. They're oh, yeah. listening to the show in real time. Yeah. They support the show. You already know what it is. Shout out Nova Kareem. Now, Nova, you know we family. I keep saying it. Dr. Jack Felder, my grandmother's name is Felder. We all Felders. We got to sit down one day and put all the pieces together because we fam. So shout out Nova Kareem. 
Long Beach. Uh, yeah, Long Beach is in the building. Detroit is in the building. Raleigh. Cincinnati. My, my man is opening his restaurant right now in Raleigh. They're doing oh. interviews. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. My man Dre, so I'm very I'm proud of him. I can uh, work remote. I can look at the camera and yeah. tell him who's stealing him. You just got to pay me $80,000. All right, London, UK, Savannah, Georgia, St. Louis, Seattle. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for being it. here. We appreciate it. We get a week out. is much appreciated. Let's get that out of the way. All right. Yep. And let's get it going. Let's get it going. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So if you guys have not been paying attention to the YouTube streets, it looks like DJ Envy is in some hot water, man. It's getting worse. Yeah, it's getting worse by the minute. So apparently his business partner, Cesar Pena, 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 whatever. Um, apparently he got arrested um, as a result of these uh, uh, charges. charges and accusations. Mm-hmm. He was let go on a million dollar bond. I think he posted in like an hour. Yeah, that's the people's money. Yeah, people, yeah. <laughs> people were just like, what? Well, like, so you get a, I, even though it's a 10% yeah, of that, but still, yeah, yeah. where you get that kind of money from? And I ain't got my money? Yeah. I'm, I, I'm feeling some kind of way. Absolutely. If you got 100000 to bail out, I gave you a $50,000 investment and I ain't got my money. Yes. So um, he has an ankle monitor on now. And apparently today, this is according to Tony the Close and a few other people, but I think the studio, the offices at iHeart, where the Breakfast Club, the Breakfast Club films, mm-hmm. uh, their their show was raided today by the feds. They took electronic devices and things like that. So it's getting, it's getting. Yeah, somebody said DJ Jules. Thanks for the donation. DJ Envy was trying to improve the community. This only happens to people who have beef with Officer Rick So here's Ross. the thing. Here's the thing. Ah. When, when the feds come, that means they were watching for a minute. Yeah. We only heard about this, what, four months ago? So that means they've been working on their... And it makes me think Angela Yee may have known something. Oh. And maybe why she bounced a little early, because she knows the smoke is coming. Oh. Maybe. Possible. Very possible. And now, see, there is something called, uh, like, like uh, what do you call Like, you, you are an accessory. Yeah. To a crime. And, and so, so we're not saying... Envy was the mastermind behind any of this, who probably went in to improve his yeah, community. I, I'm a, like I I I want to believe he had good intentions in this. I want to believe he had great intentions. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not up here uh, uh, bathing in his yeah uh, uh, situation. This is not one of those situations where I'm happy to see someone yeah, no. uh, get arrested. Someone who's been on the radio. He does car shows uh, uh, among other things that. Uh, lend to, however, a, 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 a ignorance of the law is no excuse, yeah. as they say. And so if I'm in the car with you yeah. and you let off and I don't immediately go to the feds, then I have a problem on yeah. my hand. So what it seems like, because I saw like a few different breakdowns. Avery says I am obsessed with this story. It's just, it's just fascinating to me. I don't know because when people... I have schemes and they get over their head. I just always think about like, what is the conversations like? Like, you know what I'm yes. saying? Like, what are they talking about? Because yes. guys, here when we have orders that don't like don't reach their destination, we just like we we stress here, right? Right. And that's right. orders. That's a product that you bought here, but to owe money like hundred thousand dollars, yes. eight hundred thousand dollars, million, like. What are those conversations like at home? You know what I'm saying? Yes. And me and Mama Dot talk. We were just talking about this last night and saying, if you've never had nothing, you don't come from money, you come from poverty. Mm-hmm. And you catch a lick. Let's just say MV blows you up. And now sitting in your account is $40 million. Yeah. The schemer in you... <laughs> <laughs> the Judas yeah. within you yeah. is going to be like, yo, if you just take a mill, yeah. you know, by the time everything roll back yeah. around, you know, you, you'll have it. And then it, it, it's sort of like you dip your hand in the cookie jar mm. and it becomes addictive mm. because you want to project success for your family and friends. You yeah. want to look apart so that when you do travel other places, because wealth attracts wealth. Mm-hmm. You can't look crummy. A con, the very word con man, from what I understand, uh, based on the CIA operative said, it means confidence. Mm. And so you have to look the part. You have to be confident for other people to go, okay, I want to give you my money. Yeah. And so 
You you spend a little money on a whip. You spend a little money on looking good, and then it becomes addictive. Mm. I used to work at U-Haul, <laughs> and you know, one time somebody ordered a hundred dollars worth of boxes, and I rang it up for a dollar fifty. And they didn't ask for a receipt, which yeah. is the only way I could pull it off. And they walked out the store, and I made ninety-eight dollars. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, the shit got addictive. <laughs> I started making more money than the managers, and I was driving a whip. <laughs> they like, how the hell? This thing I'm making four thirty-five an hour. Yeah. I pulled up in the yard in my brand new whip. Y'all. <laughs> what up? I, I was making so much money, I was forgetting to cash my check. Yeah. I was like, oh, was shit, I got my <laughs> check was in my pocket. I started, uh, again, yeah. this is on a small level. Yeah. You rent a truck, it was 69 cents per mile. Mm-hmm. I, with my intelligent ass, <laughs> found a way to inception the computer mm-hmm. and was sending niggas on long journeys and back and saying they went 22 miles. Mm-hmm. And was pocketing mm-hmm. 69 times 600. Yeah. Dude, my pockets was bulging. Everybody was all oh, doing it. Yeah. And um, I never got caught. I never got caught, but I did get caught. Yeah. The auditors came in. Yeah. And when the auditors came in, I never came back to yeah. work. <laughs> and they were like, uh, okay, that nigga can't come back here. <laughs> and so, but it was addictive because yeah. it was so easy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just was very easy to get the money. And so Yeah, I had a few friends, same same kind of deal. They yeah. were doing I I had free movie tickets. You yes. know who I'm talking about. I had free movie tickets, yes. dollar popcorn. Yes. They it were wilding. They were wilding. And so it becomes addictive. So imagine forty million yeah. that yeah. you know you can skim I, I, off. I, I'm, people I don't know if it's the uh Sensationalism, but I'm hearing a hundred million. Yes, con- right. collectively. Yes, yeah, right, don't... right. So my point is, you you think it's no way I can't peel off five million dollars mm. and it not. It, I, I, so do you think? Okay, okay. And he was remember he was in jail. Yes, for a long time. Yeah, scheming. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He probably had and his mama come out. And he was on Earn Your Leisure. Yeah, yo. Among other places that put him on. Oh, man. They, and they did not vet him properly. Or maybe they did because they couldn't have no, foreseen no, so, the, you know. Because they get the brunt of a lot of stuff because by the time they get to Earn Your Leisure sometimes, your business is good. Like, it's real on paper now. You yes, know what I'm saying? yes. And yes. then the, the jail story, that just makes for a better episode, and Because too. It's, it's a triumphant story. Right, it makes for a better story I as well. I because yeah. that's the way he sold it. I, I was in prison. I changed my life right. around. Right, right. And you go, wow, Pena, yeah. you was in Yale? Yeah. Yeah, and now I'm, I'm so-and-so. And then, so it looks good. And then the co-signed by Envy. Yeah. The biggest radio show yeah. in America. You know, yeah. this is iHeart. Yeah. And they just based in New York. They are syndicated. Mm-hmm. And so by them doing that and him co-signing it, the only reason 95% of these yeah. people gave up their money is because of Envy's co-sign. And he has to take some kind of responsibility for that. Yeah, because I'm trying to think uh, if... He had to know something. Because there's too many people coming out now. Yeah. And I'm sure somebody reached out to him and be like, yo, your man owe me money. Your man owe me money. You right. know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, yo, like, yes. Early on. Exactly. And then... And all the flags were there because instead of when people were approaching him early, he was telling them, let's double over. Let me get you some more property. Right, yeah. So let's just roll your money over. And that's yeah. a Ponzi scheme. Yeah. You know what I mean? Look at what Bernie Madoff was doing. Fifty billion. Yeah. Because he was with the high rollers and shakers, and you twenty five percent profit and, on my money. Yeah, and, and again, math and, and investing don't work like that. It just like doesn't. the way they caught Bernie Madoff, it was somebody who caught it years. It was like, yo, yes. his return, like it's, it's just coming it's back too, too good to be true, too clean. Like how is this happening? True. And to be consistent. Not like a spike where right. one year, okay, they did very well that right. year. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Off. Every single year, yeah, this was happening, and so. And then when um, Caesar, he was offering like thirty percent return in like three months. Unheard Ew. of. Unheard of. 
Like that's that's damn their drug dealer. To the return. point where if that's if that's what I'm giving, why would I offer it to the public? Why would I offer that to anybody? Why would I offer that to anybody? Why not keep that? To Just myself? keep that to myself. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. So that's exactly. And so yeah. when you use your platform, Jay Nightman, thank you. Bro. Thank you, Jay Nightman. When you use your platform like that, yeah, that's what happens. And so I'm not saying envy needs to go to jail, but something has to give. Ascending Infinite Goddess. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Somebody said, don't turn green. Yeah. Said, Real gold don't turn green. MVI here ruining New York's name. Yeah, no. Yo, I, so I, like, gotta, I think he, has, he might have to step down. Yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Just like when you're involved in something that you're not involved with. Yeah. You got to step down. You know, when your name is attached to something, you got to step down. Yeah. I was just watching Jamie Foxx movie last night, me and wifey. Mm -hmm. And they proved something to one of the lead attorneys. And just on the strength, he had to step down. Mm. I got to watch that. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. Very okay. good movie. Good to see. And so, Envy's going to have to step down, man. Mm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, and, and then once one domino falls, and then they all fall. Because now your car show people go, ah. Yeah, right. These people go, ah. He got five children. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and so, this... Provides him a great life in terms of just his radio show. And again, to those who are listening, I'm pretty sure he had no intentions, but he was going to make money. Envy was going to make money and probably receive some money. You know what I mean? There's no way you've guys accumulated a hundred million and you talking about, yeah, he owed me five hundred thousand. Like you didn't make no money in yeah. me and you didn't think that that was weird, that it's a hundred million in the account. Yeah. And he, I looked at Pena's brother who he hired. Oh uh, yeah. Dude, yeah, why yeah. would you do it? <laughs> yeah, he looked he looked, he looked so crazy. Sick. He looked like he was <laughs> yeah. like he just came home. Yeah. And so it it, it he just, did look so sick, yeah. you know, it just, you know, it, it's bad. But the influence world is our attribute for today in our 90-day journey mm -hmm. was I am influential. And we spoke about influence. Yeah. And out of Envy's influence is the reason that $100 million was accrued. Because if you saw Pena by himself on a YouTube channel telling you he just came home and to give you his money, you wouldn't give him a dime. Yes. All right. Yeah. And so that's just something to uh, to think about. You want to hit a commercial? You want to hit another story? Uh, we could hit another story real quick. Yeah, somebody yeah. says uh, they didn't get rid of Charlemagne after he was accused of. That is true, but it wasn't happening it wasn't, in the moment, and it wasn't a solid. It was something that happened 15 years ago. Yeah. So he was and in, he was able to to fiend things off. Yeah. You know, based off speculation and accusation and things had that situation been current yeah. like this girl was in a hotel with yeah. him just two weeks ago and she claimed that she was assaulted and she had a dna kid or anything that's a different story because that's current yeah and that's something but 15 years ago you know and then it, it, even if it happened 15 and then like the feds was, was raiding i hard and now it's whoa Right. Well, we might have to... Because he did lose... He did lose uh, oh, money. Oh, Charlamagne lost a lot of money. He lost... His, he had an he HBO... He had a cable show or something. He, his HBO show he, that was about to go... He lost that. It was a bunch of stuff. Yeah, and then he um he repurposed himself, and now he's running on the... He mental has health. mental illness. Yes, the anxiety. You know what I'm so that's his anxiety thing yep. and all of that, and he's running on that, and it's, it's, it's kind of giving him a little bit of shelter yeah. for some of the b bizarre, absurd shit that he says. Yeah. I haven't listened to them in a minute, so I don't know how bizarre it is still, you know. I don't know what his behavior is lately yeah. in terms of some of the stuff he says on the show these days. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So, guys, while all of, um, you know, these, uh, you know, the threats of world war has been going on quietly, a judge has moved to dismiss Hunter Biden's uh, gun charge. Yes. While, and while we were, yeah, looking that way... Yep. They dismissed the gun charge, yep. and so there's no basis for anything now. Yes, so people are just like... Because that was a lot of people's... Um, not Hail Mary, but it was something like, okay, finally the Biden family is going to get held accountable for something. Right. And right. Uh, while everybody was looking here Thank at... You, Chris Davis. Looking at everything here at, you know, war and, and, and Tucker Carlson and Ben Shapiro and, and all of this stuff, 
over here, they drop those charges. And yeah. They, they don't have to worry about that right now. Right. And now, even the Maui situation has disappeared. Oh, I forgot all about that. Right? See, you forgot yeah, all, forgot about, all it. about that. That's crazy. Yeah. And, and that's how they move through influence, how they move your attention span from one place to another. And it's usually emotion based. Mm -hmm. All of it, the, the triggers for us as a people are still emotion based. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And when we get over our, this is why I don't get into long, drawn out debates with people on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I allow, I'm playing chess. You're playing checkers in most cases. Mm -hmm. And checkers is the emotion based. Right. Yeah. We told you Colin Kaepernick was a hustle. And I got chewed, we got chewed out for it. And we said, just watch. You hear no more about that. We told you the Dr. Omar stuff was a grift in the grand scheme of things. And we got chewed out because that's also emotion based. Calvin Kaepernick was fighting. He took a knee for us. You nigga. <laughs> that's basically you black ball head. Fucking goober head nigga. I was getting called all kind of weird shit. Fucking raising that motherfucker. Right? That was calling me all kind of shit. With like vitriol, you know? <laughs> Umar's building a school for black kids. <laughs> and we said, no, no, but if we did an online school, yeah. where when I give my 500 donation, my child is connected to the yeah. $500. Number. I can't build a school for kids I ain't never seen. And then you're going to charge them a big tuition? We said, that don't, don't make sense. We said, just making it online. Yeah. And we, I got called a bunch of niggas. Yeah. The Love Balls Ball situation. That was first. That was I like our first video. Called, that was our that was our first video. Yeah. I got called a bunch of niggas yeah. for that too. Yeah. You house nigga. And I said, listen, <laughs> I'm simply saying, come in, bring your son in under Nike, learn the business. Yeah. Learn how it goes behind the wall, how they do things. Then when your son escalate ele elevate his game, then transition over to big baller brand. No, that's a black man trying to make you. Y'all just trying to hold a black man down. I'm like, no, I'm simply saying it's a game. Now you can't find that big baller brand. Yeah. His son got fucked up wearing them sneakers, too. Oof. And when he told that white lady, stay in your place on Fox News, the emotion in you, you was living vicariously while you were on your job, and you wouldn't dare say that to your boss. Yeah. You were happy because he was saying that. And I was like, the corporate game don't work that way. Fox News is not going to let that fly. We told you Kwame Brown's situation would come and go. Y'all, again, mad because that man got a platform. And he's, I said, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Yes. You know, listen, a lot of these things, you just have to wait. And the same thing. And you'll see what happens. With like Deion Sanders. That too. I got chewed out. Yeah. You know, I got, I got chewed out. And I called a bunch of stuff. Just watch. Watch. Watch what I tell you. Once you remove your emotion and look at the long game, I don't have to get in long debates with you. Now, I don't win them all, but most of them, I just sit back and time will tell you. So, and it doesn't just relate to that. Mm -hmm. War, mm -hmm. that's emotion. Yo, the um, election. Election, that's emotion. Yeah, just like, just watch. So, all just they wait. do is move on our emoted energy. Not our logic, just our, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Oh, <laughs> shit, that, that, <laughs> that hurt. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hillary got hot sauce. Yeah. In her bag. Yeah. Stuff that you just like, yo. Oh my God. You should be offended just like at the th Like, yo, right. did she just. Like, they're not yeah. gonna have a town meeting to break down. No voting, they're no. They're gonna have a cookout. Yeah, no voting, no vucking. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, no voting, no vucking. Yeah. We're gonna shake that ass for a cookout. <laughs> That's emotion. <laughs> you niggas gotta get out of your emotions. That's all I'm trying to tell you. And watch the long game, the short game. Because it's all going to play itself out. And with that, maybe we'll get a commercial yeah, break. Yeah, now we'll take a commercial break. All right, now we'll get into a commercial break. We'll be right back. Yeah.
Introducing African Sea Moss Wholesale, nature's holistic gift for rejuvenation. This organic superfood is taking the world by storm. Derived from the pristine coastlines of the island of Zanzibar, our sea moss is a treasure trove of essential nutrients and minerals that promote overall wellness. What sets African sea moss apart from other supplements? It's 100% pure and natural from the loving waters of Mama Africa. Used for centuries in traditional African medicine, it harnesses the healing powers of the sea. It retains its full nutritional and spiritual value directly from the ancestors. Visit www.africanmoss.com to learn more about wholesaling African sea moss. Open your own holistic store, supply wellness centers, or sell online. The possibilities are endless. Don't miss out on this incredible business opportunity. Buy now at a special rate of $15 per pound. To all of you Dr. Sebi followers, I've got something for y'all. Discover the untold story of one of the most important healers of our time in Abelardo Guerrero Jr.'s book titled My Journey with Dr. Sebi. Visit www.myjourneywithdrsebi.com to place your order and receive a free copy of the audiobook with over four hours of exclusive content. Hello, wealthy family. This is Chanel, Ascending Infinite Goddess, sending you lots of love and gratitude. Thank you so much for allowing me to continuously connect with you and your spirit team. Know that whether you're receiving guidance and confirmation with an angel or heart session, or you're having your energy centers realigned with a chakra balancing session, or you're releasing trauma and pressure with a mental healing session, I am here to be of service to you. Visit my website, www.ascendinginfinitegoddess.com to see all my services and availability. And also visit my YouTube channel, Ascending Infinite Goddess, where I have hundreds of videos for you to follow through and learn more about your spiritual journey. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And until we connect again, one love. We're back. We're back. Thank you for supporting us always. Yo, real quick, random. I remember last last episode was a, bu a bunch of buzzing. It wasn't anything wrong, but it was we had like too many wires just like bunched up, bunched crazy. up together. We solved it as soon yeah. as the show was over. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, we solved it. You know, we had the wires, and you know when they bunched up together, the it, it signals crazy. was crossing over. So we we thankful uh, that we got that fixed. Yes. Uh, thank you for your continued support. And thank you. We appreciate it. all the support. Thank all you. the support that's coming through. I don't mean to, to scold anybody. Or, <laughs> but I'm just like, simply <laughs> saying what, what, what it is that we do, like, damn, the that. quality of shows we put on, yeah. and I'm not pocket watching other people, and I'm like, geez, I, we can't. I, I, I'm almost convinced if I made it 99 cents that people go, ah, fuck them. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, it's 99 cents. Yeah. It's 300 shows in there. And so anyway, I want to speak about DJ Mark, the 45 King, uh, another hip hop uh, pioneer and icon who passed away today. And it's weird because his birthday was three days ago. Mm. I had just got finished, you know, so, oh, you know, shout out to DJ Mark, the 45 King. And, um, and so word came through today. He produced... Hard Knock Life, Jay-Z's mm. biggest hit. He also produced Stan mm. uh, for Eminem. Eminem yeah. The very word Stan is still around today. Because of that. Wow, yeah. Because of that song, right? And so, among other things, he yeah. produced for Queen Latifah and the Flavor Unit, uh, the one eight nine, the one nine hundred song from and 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 Everyone knows this is iconic. He's a very humble individual. Now, my connection to DJ Mark, the 45 King, is a weird one, but a connection nonetheless. Right. Just a few weeks, I held up the Tall, Dark, and Handsome album. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for my brother, um, uh, Ultra Magnetic, or uh, he called himself Magnetic something in the chat. Uh, it, it escapes me at the time. That single... Tall, Dark, and Handsome, the sample off that mm -hmm. was off a song called Darling Dear, which was a Michael Jackson sample. Let's mm -hmm. keep that in mind here. 
Now, the way I got signed to B-Boy Records was the almighty KG took me and my crew up to B-Boy Records. He had a tape full of beats in mm -hmm. his pocket. And he said, yo, Dot, pick what you like. He didn't call you Dot, but got No, like KD at yeah. the time. <laughs> KD, pick what you like. I immediately picked the Darlin' Deer track, and I picked one or two other mm -hmm. tracks. We went up to B-Boy Records in front of Bill Kamara and Jack and performed that tall, dark, and handsome song written by me, mm -hmm. every single verse, every hook, every chorus. And they signed us on the spot. Me thinking that those were KG's beats, mm -hmm. come to find out they were beats that belonged to DJ Mark the 45 King. Wow. Now, the crazy thing about this, I wind up meeting him years later yeah. through a mutual friend, uh, uh, Wayne Cobham, who's the brother of Billy Cobham, famous jazz you know, Wayne mm. Cobham used to work for UTFO, was one of my producers, one a good friend of mine. And I, I apologized to him, and he never really said nothing, so I don't know how he felt about yeah. it. But that wasn't on any doing of my part. And I'm not even sure KG didn't say that they weren't his beats. He just said, pick what I like. Yeah. And we resampled it, ran with it. Mm. Now... The Michael Jackson sample that we used, mm -hmm. I'm going to stand by this until somebody can prove me wrong. Oh, shit. We were the first ones to sample Michael Jackson on wax on a record. Now, Dougie Fresh might claim that, but I think our album came out three or four months before Oof. his album came out in that year of 1988. Prior to 1988, no one was sampling. Uh, no. Well, you heard it here first. Okay? You heard it here first. What two or three things may have happened from this. Okay. If B-Boy Records you just can't trust, if Karis one doesn't make that statement and he stays on B-Boy Records, mm -hmm. we get the promotion I think we needed because DJs, when Karis one made that statement, no DJs would touch us except Red Alert. Now we got to be for Karis. I'm sorry, no, no, yeah, just. I'm just sorry, y'all. It, we got to we got to stand on business. Karis one is a very big guy. We got to stand on and business. My I bars, I can't even begin the process. <laughs> we got to right? stand on business. And so, two things could have happened. Yeah. Either we blow up mm -hmm. with the sample, and we get sued by Michael Jackson. Yeah. How crazy would that have been? That's legendary. I'm sued by Michael Jackson, or it blows up yeah. and becomes a phenomenal hit. But because of the shady business mm. of B-Boy Records, none of this stuff took place. And that is an unknown story first told here. Wow. And that's my connection to DJ Mark. And if you have to blow up... The 45 King. Like, that's 88. He was with my mother... I was with you. I had just got with your mother. Yeah, you she was mama. cute. I had just got with her. You know what I mean? Yeah. She came to the studio while I was recording that album. Okay. I'm like, She's on that so album. I, I'm still in the mix there somewhere. Your mother is on that album. Yeah, I know. I, I heard it. So there, yeah. I'm still in the mix there. Oh, no, there, no. So. She's not on that She's album. She's on Leatherheads. She's on the next Le album. Yes. But I dedicated a song to her. Oh, God. Called My Love Tune on that album. Now look. To your mama. But she, we were together at that time. Okay, so I'd I still be around. Uh, maybe. Yeah, possibly. I don't know. Yeah, I might have blew up. And like, you know, fuck this shit. You know, uh, you know. You know, but see, that goes to show you how power moves. You know, you, yeah. I would have been on the road. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> road gets crazy. You know, shit. Come home with uh, what? <laughs> If you don't get the fuck out of my face, you know. So, in anywho, that's, that's my... That's crazy how life works, though. That's crazy how life works. Yeah. One or two things here. And then... If Karis one had planted his flag mm -hmm. behind us, mm -hmm. right, I think right in front of us would have been a group called JVC Force. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, they were on B-Boy Records. They had a song called Strong Island, which was a banger. Mm -hmm. But we had that commercial song, mm. Tall, Dark, and Handsome, mm. the same, the whole nine yards. Mm. The world could have been different. Crazy. But just wanted to share that R.I.P. Yes. DJ Mark the 45 King, a true legend. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So, uh, Joe Biden, apparently he is preparing, the White House is preparing to um, ask for another like one hundred billion dollars in aid towards Ukraine, Israel, and I think the southern border. 
But he's going to give a hundred million to Palestine. To Palestine, yes. yes. But a hundred billion. Yeah. To Ukraine. Yeah. Wow. And wow. guys, guys, like just come on. There's people here again who can't find work, who can't yes. pay bills. Yes. There's people here, and like you, you get what I'm saying. And then I'm tired of Sleepy Joe too. I'm not gonna. This is crazy. Man. And then so yeah. they they caught him um, on the Air Force One plane. He gave an interview, and he looked insane. Did you see him? Yes. Like, he Did he don't know... his fucking chin? He don't know where he's at. He don't know yes. what day it Sheesh. is. My he's stumbling Lord. and bumbling through every interview that he's given. Yes. It's this, crazy. This is looking worse than ever. Yeah. And I don't have the answers. Again, I don't play politics. But there is a trickle-down effect that we must just be aware of. Yeah. In our everyday life. So whether we vote or not, because remember, I'm going to tell you again, your vote is a spiritual vote. They already know who the next three or four presidents are going to be. If it it is going to be, don't be fooled. When you think that your vote is counting toward the president, then you are living in a bubble that says you have a choice. And you know damn well you don't have a choice because you can't vote people in power out of power. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You think they're going to let you do that? Yeah. So this is a spiritual game under the guise of, of, of something else. They want your agreement. Everything in this realm is your agreement. Watch our latest Urban exclusive oh, of yeah. how yeah, did yeah, we yeah. get here. Yeah, that's, that was a banger. It's, it's a banger. And that's yeah. part one of yeah. probably a three or four part yeah. series. Okay, and so remember, every time you step in the line for something or every time you don't say unequivocally no, no yeah. you saying yes. And they never retreat yeah. and they keep moving forward and you spending your time pulling that lever ain't got nothing to do with nothing physical. It's all spiritual. It's all mental and it's all a psychological game because this is the realm of choice. And the universe is very literal. Oh, y'all didn't disagree. Y'all didn't fight. Y'all yeah. didn't. Y'all didn't uh, raise hell and say y'all not gonna do that. Y'all must like it. All right, let it happen. That's the way that goes. And you know, a lot of times when we're speaking about people's situation, they go, "Don't they don't deserve that?" I go, "Yes, they do. They do deserve that." Oh man. Because if they, I get it, I get it. I get but it. you know what I yeah, mean? I it's it, I harsh. Yeah, yeah. But if you don't stop it then subconsciously you like that shit. So I got to kind of let that roll. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This person is always drugged out. and Dude, they, it's something in them that mm-hmm. says these drugs are doing something. Why, they bullying this kid all the time. Stop the fucking bullying. Mm-hmm. However, now I'm not saying go and mm-hmm. shoot up the school. <laughs> yeah, please. And hit a whole bunch of innocent people. But my mother used to bully this girl. This was a big girl. My mother is little. And she used to bully this girl every day at school, take her lunch mm-hmm. money. And that lady came to school and said, show me the girl, thinking it was going to be mm-hmm. another big girl. That She looked through the window and said, huh? That girl's mother said, that little girl right there is taking your... She said, I'm going to tell you right now. Tomorrow, I'm mm-hmm. going to give you lunch money. If she take it, I'm whipping your mm-hmm. ass. And that girl all that night was probably at home. Like, <laughs> do, wow. I, do I beat this girl up or, or do, do I get a beat? Or do I get a beat by my, my mom? Yeah. And, you know what? I'm going to have to put the beats on, on little Liz or, yeah. you know. And she put the beats mm. on my mom's. And they became good friends. Because like your mother, but your mother remembered that. Yeah, that's all told it told you. Yeah. That's all it took yeah. was an ass whipping yeah. to go, enough is enough, mm-hmm. little lady. You can't have my lunch money no more. And so that's just a metaphor for we we getting beat up out here. Yeah, and and, And we're getting bullied and we're not we're not doing nothing. They're playing in our faces because you're not gonna tell me that Biden from 08 when he ran with Obama is this guy right here. You're not gonna tell me that. No, 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 no. You're not gonna tell me that. And and now you're insulting my common sense. Bro, they so they took a picture with him and uh, I think the Prime Minister of Israel. And Biden was like a whole half a foot taller than him, but yeah. he's supposed to be shorter than him. Yes. Now, you're not insulting my intelligence, because that's one level of insult. Yeah. You insult my common sense. Yeah. You didn't, you're not seeing what yeah. you think you're seeing yeah. now. 
and we can put anybody in front of you. And again, if you don't go, wait a minute, wait a minute, we, we're not accepting this. Yeah. Who the fuck is this? Yeah. Then it, it is. And before you know it, you just start, and then you start going, well, maybe that, maybe through old age, mm -hmm. you, no, 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 no. Nope. <laughs> like our, um, yeah, our emotions are getting played with, especially with this conflict that's happening now in the Middle East, because... Everybody like on Democrats is impo like within this part. It's fights within parties now. Yes, and it's always like that. But like they try to keep a united front. Like let's just, it's out in the open. Democrats are fighting with each other. Republicans are fighting with each other. Yes. People in centrist they fight with each other. And like again, we're all looking here, and then there's moves happening here. Absolutely, that really affects stuff. So and, and the conversation is bald. Yeah, I like Dr. Shiva. Very good. Very good. Um, just on humanity now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and and there are people who are going, this is just wrong. Yeah. It ain't about me drawing a line on my Democratic side or Republican. This is right and wrong now. Yeah. And that's the real conversation you want to start having, believe it or not, mm -hmm. because it's based on principalities. This ain't, oh, that's my man. I know he, he, he out of pocket. I'm going to ride with him anyway. No, this is that shit is wrong. Yeah. And a lot of people are not ready to have that kind of conversation because of the level of cognitive dissonance mm -hmm. that is instilled in them where I stick with my party no matter what. I don't care how many times you prove homie is a grifter. Nah, nah, that's... Yeah. And, and so, you know, again, you know. So, so uh, this also happened over the week. Um, there was a hospital, apparently, that was bombed. A Palestinian yeah, hospital was bombed. 500 uh, people killed, were killed. Yeah. So, uh, at first, people were saying, okay, obviously, if it was a Palestinian hospital, uh, Israel did it. Then they were saying, Israel came out and said, no, that was a, a Hamas misfire. They did that to themselves. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there were people who had videos. Like the, I don't know how they get in these videos, but they're saying this is, they were showing, like, explosions. This, this is an Israeli missile explosion. Huge, right? Yes. Obviously, they are an actual army. Technologically advanced, then, yes. Hamas is not an actual army. It's a, it's a militia. It's a, yes. it's a force, but it's not that. And it was like, this is a Hamas explosion. Yeah. Like, it was like... Yes, it wasn't they're, even close. They're, they're a ragtag organization that is, you know, trying to make something happen. And I think the way the media is hyping them is for, for that reason. Yes. They, they're trying to make them seem bigger than they are. So when that government, the Israeli government, does what they do to them, it's just it's like... It's justified. Justified. I've even saw fake videos of a car bomb. Mm -hmm. The car goes off, and yeah. then all the people come lay in the street, mm -hmm. and you see paramedics come, and they're doing these little uh, photo op false flag wag the dog shots. Yep. Anyway, okay, so that goes to my next point. I heard the explosion didn't even happen. It happened in the parking lot of the hospital. The hospital is still standing. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so much... So much information. Information, misinformation, disinformation Did out there. Did you hear there. That, that story about Instagram is changing people's Islamic... Yes, yes. So this guy on TikTok, because he said he couldn't share it on Instagram. This guy on TikTok, he is Palestinian, and he had, um, you know, uh, uh, Islamic term in there. You could translate it on Instagram, but he had the Palestinian flag. He had the term. And the term means Amdu Allah or yes. something, which means God is great, basically, yeah. or something to that effect. If you are Muslim and you went in the chat, you can, you know. Yeah, yeah. I know I screwed that yeah. up. I apologize. So uh, when he pressed translate or see translation, it said Palestinian terrorist. Yes. Love, love God or something to that effect. Then he tried it again, and it was the same thing. So with, if the flag is in the bio, it said, like, terrorist. And apparently... He said Instagram said they would change it or fix it or something like that. It hasn't happened. Yes. But it's crazy. Yeah, very crazy. Because you know how many people clicked on that translation? Mm -hmm. Because they're out of curiosity mm -hmm. and really. Yeah. And it's supporting an agenda. And this is what I mean by you're renting space in someone else's home. And they can pretty much Yo, dude, Airbnb we, your ass. I, we shared a video on Instagram about the conflict in the Middle East when it happened, and then I got, like, not shadow banned for the day, but, like... Spanked. Spanked. They're like, hey, yeah, we're not going to let you comment on people's stuff Absolutely. now. I'm like, yo! Absolutely. So you got to be careful. You got to be careful with all of this. Not get the heat out of your... What? Heart? Hate? Hate? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Out of your heart, not get the heat out of your heart. I want to thank... Um, 
Blood of Enoch for the uh, cash app. Appreciate you. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So you were telling me um, Kim K got her son a Manny. Yeah, Kim K. Not a nanny. A manny. No, she wanted to get him a Manny so that he have some male figure in his life for her son. What's their son's name? Saint. Saint, yes. And so, again, another just blatant disrespect. Yeah. Uh, to Kanye and to torture Kanye, you know, who's... I, I'm not sure that's even Kanye now, but you, you understand? Mm-hmm. And you got to be careful with that because now you got these men that you think are men around your boys. Yo, I was... That's, very dangerous. That's where my mind went. Very dangerous. So that's where my mind went. My mind went like, so you're going to have around my son, like who? Like, that's not even your man. Like, yes, yes. Yes. You got to have who around my kid? Like, yes. I, I didn't... Yeah, that's where my mind yes. immediately so, went. You know, and, and again, to torment uh, a Kanye in another way, because I think those are his handlers. That entire family ran him through a, a gamut of things. Those are all which is high-ranking. Mm-hmm. Let me hit... Where's my alleged thing? Allegedly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, yep. Just got him a man, a Manny. That's crazy. Uh, and other news, so uh, remember we, we reported on uh, Kevin Porter Jr. beating up his girlfriend. Yes, she recanted her her statement as she should. Yeah, <laughs> for a hundred million, <laughs> like you want to go back to the projects. Yeah, I was out of pocket, but you better go. And if there's no, I don't know if she can back off the circuit. They already cut him. Yeah, they already traded him to yeah. OKC, and OKC is releasing him. And now he is a good player. Mm-hmm. Do you, somebody going to let some time go by mm-hmm. and say he has re, been rehabilitated, mm-hmm. especially if he beat the charges. Yeah, yeah. Now, if he beat the charges, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all speculation. It it's never just, happened. He's good in the woods. What good happened in the wood. with my man uh, from the Giants who, who ducked his girl out? Who are you talking about? Years ago. You talking about Rice? Yes. Yeah, Ray Rice. Ray Rice from... Yeah, from uh, he was in the Ravens. From the Ravens. Yeah. They had that on tape. Yeah. And that was real bad. Yeah. And he, and so he Thank couldn't you. back out of that if he wanted to. He tried. He tried to get... They, they got married after that. Yeah, but... So, so she couldn't, like, uh, testify against him. I understand, but the tape... Oh, yeah, the tape, yeah, it was... Speaks for itself. Yeah, it was bad. That was... And he was he from New Rochelle, too. Yeah, he from New Rochelle. For yeah. some reason, I thought he played for the Giants, but he played for uh, the Ravens. Yeah. And so Porter had a $100 million dollar deal. Room, that's why. Yes, had a $100 million dollar deal... On the table, and so uh, you know that's not going to end well for him initially. Yeah. But somebody's going to now come to find out this guy from Michigan, the coach, the head coach who had the ninety-eight Michigan State, yes. Michigan State. Yeah. Now he has provided tapes. That girl was willing to settle for ten thousand dollars. She came into that with him with five dollars in her bank account and targeted him. Oh. Uh, looking for a payday, and his goofy ass fell for it, oh. and she was willing to settle. Mel, Mel Tucker, that's his name. Yes, for ten grand. Wow! And for somehow, some way, I think the administrative had got wind of it, and it became a bigger situation. And she was a hillbilly. <sighs> yeah, she looked like Jeez. the chick Kobe was laying out that time, and so. I'm worth ninety-eight million. You can't come nowhere near. Yes. And, and, but yo, I wouldn't care if I was the head coach of a female basketball team. I'm gonna have assistant head coaches who are all females yeah. who convey this message to these <laughs> bitches. I need you bitches to double down on defense. I ain't looking nowhere near y'all. I, 98 million? Yeah, yeah. Stay Shit. Yeah, yeah. I ain't going no, near nobody. And when I say I'm going to be insulated by female coaches, yeah. all my, and they're going to be dykes. Can I say dykes? <laughs> What's the proper term now? I can't say dykes. You know, can't say studs. Well, what was the? I, I want to be politically correct because <laughs> Al Go and Rhythm is probably at the door. Like, you know what's going on, right? So they know I ain't, I'm not interested in you. <laughs> you ain't interested. You ain't in interested me? in me. This is all business. Yeah. You could go in the locker room. I ain't gonna be in there with the towel smacking players yeah. on the ass. Hey, good game. <laughs> all these vaginas hanging and shit. Not for ninety eight million. Yeah. No. Yeah. 
No. Oh, real quick. Uh, shout out to the uh, Vegas Aces. Las Vegas Aces. Yeah, they yeah, won. they are. Yeah, they closed out our Liberty. Yeah, that was a good game. And to see all of that support was very, very good. Hmm. And um, yeah, so the party starts in Vegas now. Yeah, it's, that's step one. This is step one. Step one in Vegas. Side note: Going back to the um, HD TV, uh, LG mm-hmm. TV community, mm-hmm. statistics say seventy-two percent of lesbian the marriages, L's. the L's, the L's, yeah, end in divorce. That's a, that's high. Like that's high. And you know why? Cheating, mm-hmm. violence, mm-hmm. all the things that you would get. From a nigga. <laughs> Just calling it what it is. So y'all went over there because they more soft and sensitive <laughs> and they know my feelings <laughs> and we, we have a connection. No. They out there giving it up and just yeah. like everybody yeah. else. They not just scissoring with you. It, it's going on. And then remember, if you catch them out there because women have six cents, mm-hmm. I can tell you doing something, mm-hmm. they putting the beats on you. Mm? Yeah, mm? yeah. Mm? Well, you there's like a lot bad, of bad. Like no, the numbers of like domestic violence with same sex couples is like through, through the roof. Through, through, through. Cause like like even two guys like we can fight. Yeah, nigga, you you, you we, yeah like it, we can get it in. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's yeah, yeah. So crazy. Just putting the information out there. Yeah. I'm just the messenger. Same sex, same, same problems. Same sex, good. same problems. I like that. Yeah, that was a good one. And so that just means that the issue is deeper. It's just relationship. In this generation, social media, I heard just a chick online today say, if a dude take me out to eat and he pay with a credit card. You broke. He broke. Yeah. He, I, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Yo, so did, there was a clip that went viral of this woman. She didn't want to get out the car to a date to Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, Eli, Eli uh, pressed me on that. Yeah. <laughs> and I had to give him a rundown on that. And so well, from what I understand, I could be wrong, is they had res- he had reservations. To somewhere better, spot. yeah. She took an hour to yeah. come downstairs. Yeah. And now I got to make adjustments right. on the fly. Right. And because we no longer have a reservation, we can go to Cheese Factory. Yeah. And I don't believe in spending big money on you the first date anyway. I don't know you like that. Yeah, I'm meeting your representative. You meet my representative. Thanks. We're going to sit across from each other and we're going to talk. So I told Eli, 15 to 20 minutes is late mm-hmm. enough. And anything after that, an hour, that is obsessive and that's arrogant. That's disrespectful. That means you disrespect yeah, yeah. my time. You're setting this thing off on the wrong foot. Absolutely. I'm not waiting down, unless she's a bad, she yeah. gotta be a bad at no, waiting for no hour for you to come downstairs. Exactly. Right? And then you know the etiquette. Right. We're going to a restaurant. Yeah. Eat this. Yeah. If you order the steak... And the lobster. And 48 and oysters. The shrimp, <laughs> and 48 oysters. I'm under the table with, with my shit out like, so where are we going after this? Because it's happening. This is happening. <laughs> that meal says this is happening. No, so what the, the so the the, uh, the cheesecake factory woman, she did a video today. Trying to uh, backtrack Yo, or clean it up. Me, me, no, but what that's about because she got the fame. Yeah, now, See, but like, the, now it's important for me to come out. Women empowerment. And women empowerment. She went into all of that kind listen, of this shit. This internet thing. Yeah, this thing's crazy. It's a mess. It is a so, mess. So, yeah, so we know the etiquette. That's why, you know, I always say I'm taking Shaquita from the projects out to, uh, you know, what's that? TGI Fridays or something. <laughs> And she's going to be happy just because she's in a restaurant sitting down. Yeah, this whole side of the menu that say two for 20, that's two for you, all boo. that's you, ma. You getting biscuits and everything. Man, you can, you can, you can with her friend, girl. substitute and mix that, boo. Let me tell you, we yeah. went to somewhere and sat down, girl. You know what I'm saying? And there was pictures on the man. <laughs> and he told me to get anything I want, girl. And he just picked the bill up. And they came oh into the way that actually what I wanted. I got two drinks, girl. Yeah. And a takeout, girl. He's smart. He be reading books and everything. <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you he be reading books. Without That's pictures. I'm taking Shakita. Because she ain't worried about all that. Yeah. She don't care if I pay with a credit card. A new thing is going on. Dudes, this is male empowerment. Okay. <laughs> They're taking <laughs> chicks out... <laughs> 
to restaurants uh -huh. running the bill up and walking out on them. <laughs> That's messed up. They're like, yeah, my goodness, you want Because, you know, I like that. You know, just can't get what you want, girl. Oh, you got the oysters and the shrimp. And so what are we doing after this? Oh, well, now you go, you're going home. That's what you're, no, no problem, because cool, cool. it's no big deal. <laughs> let, me, let me run in the bathroom, because I had two drinks, and we run on out. <laughs> and then I'm getting in my car, and I'm pulling off, leaving you there with the bill. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Shit. Because I know within 15 minutes, my, my, if this is going to go yeah. good or not, 15 oh, minutes, I'm like, oh, okay. You keep picking up your phone, taking pictures of your food, <laughs> looking around, I thought the niggas in the club, you ordered some shit. This is not going to end yeah. well for you. That would be crazy. Yeah. 15 minutes in. No, no. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Two stars. You are tuned into the sounds <clears throat> of Urban X. Me and Mama went to uh, Motown Cafe on our first date. Where's that at? Does that still exist? No, it doesn't, but it was it had the Motown thing. Oh, okay, that's cool. The music, I was clean, she was clean. I was like, mm, you know what I'm saying? Shorty, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All that good stuff, and you know. I like the she had a little mm -hmm. vibe to mm -hmm. her and shit. I probably was just gonna reach and knock her down. <laughs> you know, I'm, you know I mean, I'm doing, you know what I'm saying, Pip? I said, I'm just gonna knock this down. Mm -hmm. We work on the same job. Mm -hmm. And I can't I'm just gonna get tell that messy. Her after that, yeah. you know, this could get messy. Yeah. You know, the workplace yeah. and all. Yeah. And uh, you know, but this, she was she was cool, you know. So twenty six years later, and we yeah. here. Yeah. yeah, me and Avery's first date was Nathan's on campus. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Nathan's. Then I hop. Right. Off campus, yeah, that's it. You, know, you know, hey, hey, hey. Two broke college kids, man. Yeah. You know, shit, shit. So um, <clears throat> the Russian Olympic team wants some rules. Change Russian gymnast team. They want some rules yes. change because they can't beat Simone Biles. They can't beat them. Yeah. So now they want them to change the, all the rules because that move she pulls out is a hell of a move. Yeah, and it's so fly. This how this how fly she is because um, it's some like triple axle flip in the air thing that she she lands like nobody else can kind of do. But because it's a dangerous move, she has her coach stand out. On the mat, just in case it goes wrong, he's able to catch her or something like that. You get 15 points deducted immediately off top before you even do the move. She still does it and still wins. And still wins. That's how good she is yeah. at what she does. And uh, it was a nice ice skater who did the same thing. She yeah, had like she, a, she, had a double, she had a backflip on ice skates and would land on one leg. They banned that move because nobody else could do it. Yeah. So That ain't her fault. Yeah. She can do something you can't yep. do. <clears throat> Shit. So yeah, you know, black people we get we get penalized for being good. Yes, in the workplace too. When you're really good at your job, they just give you more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More work, mm -hmm. and still all your ideas. Yep. I'm waiting for black hockey players to take this sport over. The way we skate or yeah. roller skate, imagine yeah. with the puck, like yeah. what, what, and then I get to drop the sticks and go <laughs> and, and, yeah. and duff you out. Yeah. I don't know why more black Yo, kids so, don't play hockey. No, so it's um, <clears throat> it was explained in uh, Malcolm Gladwell's book, The Outliers, talking about just how in Canada, like they're just built for hockey. Like Got you. the way they, the way they like. Just kind of run you through like a, we have AAU basketball in America, and it's, it's the equivalent of hockey. Yes. There. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So <laughs> there would have to be like a real somebody would have to change the culture in one of these cities but and stuff now, like that. By now, it should be. It should be. Dude, you're right. The shit we be doing on roller. Yeah. Imagine going backwards. I yeah. got the puck like this, and I'm skating backwards. Yeah. Man, they go like, what kind of yeah. voodoo is this? <laughs> yeah. And then if you come out your mouth, I drop the glove. That's a fact too. Yeah. And my skill set? Yeah. Come on, son. And it's too expensive. Yeah, so like yeah, a, lot, a yeah. lot of these sports, lacrosse is one of them as well. That's it's very expensive. expensive. Very expensive. Tennis, you saw the um the uh the documentary, yeah, the, 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 the Serena pick. Williams, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of money. Yeah. And they do that to filter us out of them, you know, yeah. True story. Uh, Dustin, as you speak, I seen Donovan McNabb's son post his first high school hockey game. Dope. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's dope. But is he is he teaching them the you know, because you got to learn the technical stuff first. Because yeah. they don't like when you niggerize stuff. <laughs> Let's just call it what That's it is. That's a fact, like, yeah. Like, dude, you can't. <laughs> like, what, what, what? Speed, what a whistle. <laughs> what, what the fuck is this? Well, I'm skating. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm hopping on them. I'm getting it. No, we yeah. don't want that. Yeah. 
We want you to play the game. This is a traditional sport. Yeah. Do it the right way. That's why them N1 dudes couldn't go pro. Mm -hmm. Besides uh, Skip to my yep. room. Ray for Austin. And he, Ray for Austin had to tone his game down. Every now and then I see him ready to get ready to bust yeah. off and he had to tone it down. Yeah. Because they don't want you to throw the ball behind. I see, bro, some of the shit that they were Yeah, doing, no, they bro. came to my school my freshman year in yeah. college. Yeah, I see him throw like... the ball around, nigga, this way. He looked that way. The ball yeah. spin back this way, threw his legs back, yeah. off the backboard, hit him in the head with the shit. Imagine you did that to somebody in the NBA. Yeah. Throw the ball left, look through his left bang hit him off the head. Remember, there was... Um, Put it in your shirt. Penalizing uh, uh, Iverson for his crossover. For his crossover, yeah. Because I saw him at Rucker Park. Jesus. And so when we niggerize things yeah. or melanize it, yeah. let's just call I like it that, that better. I like that better. It. Yeah. And, and and because we can we in between the lines. Mm -hmm. Remember everything for them is very technical on the line. We understand the spaces in between the lines yeah. in what we hear and what we do. Because Allen Iverson, <clears> it wasn't <throat> carry, but every referee we kept blowing the whistle. They yeah. was like it was like carry. Yeah. <laughs> I can't explain why I saw this Because his Hezzy was so ill. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, you know. Anywho, uh, we're going to a commercial. Yes, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Get your questions ready, please. Please get your questions ready. And we'll be right back. <laughs> Tonight, there's growing outrage over this video showing at least two police officers in Kenosha, Wisconsin, with their guns drawn, following 29-year-old Jacob Blake as he walks around the front of a gray SUV. We pause the video after he opens the door with his back to an officer. At least seven shots can be heard. Don't think we don't see your pain. I got a real mentality. I bet if you were real. Back for another amazing episode of Real Mentality. Yeah, yes. Um, we had the world famous Alkaline Oasis. And so um, it's always a pleasure to get together with young men, different ages, all my sons, 23, 30, 36, 37. What are some of the things that you wish your parents had taught you now at your stage in, in, in this evolution and in life for you? Oof. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Oh, man. You guys did a great job with us, right? So I, if, I can't even, I wouldn't be able to come and rap and say my parents wasn't there. I'd be lying. Right. I think one of the things that um, I dealt with, and it was sometimes I would just try to avoid all conflict. For us, it would be, we got, pretty spoiled because we're the youngest. Mm. So we got a lot of stuff that other families or other friends that we would see didn't have. Mm. For example, like you guys would make us hot meals every day. Mm. Some, some kids would get like cereal and I'm like, what is this? Yes. This is what I eat for breakfast. <laughs> In hindsight, you did what you can do. You understand? I mean, there's no... Yeah, I, it's, it's, it's really... It's, it's, it's it's really re yeah, you have to, like... Yeah, I get what you're saying. So, mm -hmm. and then after you enter adulthood, what your parents been trying to teach you, we've been too, we was too stubborn to listen. That, so okay. you got to deal you gotta deal with it on your own. Like you said, I can always go back and go, like, no, they told me to deal with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, they right. told me, all right, figure that out. De deal with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, so yeah, I, 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 feel, I feel like, yeah. My dad wasn't around. All right. But I knew he loved me, and so I was advanced in my thinking. Mm -hmm. I wish he taught me how to love a woman. Mm -hmm. 
You have to be taught those things by example. Mm -hmm. I wish my parents had taught me finances. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you, so you mean this credit card, I got to pay this back? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm here to protect you. Yeah. And so when we as men, I look at the three stages and I had to be a dad to each one of you differently. I'm proud of you as men. You know what I mean? Because you all have your own battles now that you have to go through. And so the greatest achievement for me is being a dad. It ain't being black dot. It ain't none of that superficial shit. And we're back. Yes, thank you. Let's get those likes up if you can for us. Yes, please hit the like button. And again, as I said, uh, we have new uh, Urban Exclusive dropping this weekend. Another episode of Real Mentality, right? Yes. Dropping this weekend. Yes. We added another class to the Ani Asuru Gematria class and another uh, class to the uh, Brother Oba class as well. So and the members, you guys are well fed. And Ani said he's going to work on, uh, I got him working on the betting class. Sports, sports, sports betting. Sports betting. Uh, somebody mentioned God, Sham God. Uh, with the Ellis Cross oh, over yeah, yeah, of all time. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Let's let's not even play with that. I saw him do a move in the park one day. I ain't never seen done since. He did it. And I said, did he just do what I thought he did? And I ain't seen nobody do it since. And so his ability to uh to get that off is uh is amazing. There's so many guys, you know. So um speaking of speaking of um I forget what the hell I was talking about now. Okay, next. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot what I was talking about. But uh, real quick, we didn't mention that ESPN, they struck a deal with a sports betting book, so now ESPN has sports betting. Okay. Now, if you don't know that sports is fixed now, how can ESPN, whose job is to unbiasedly... Report sports. Report sports have a vested interest in a betting company, Right. And so now this thing, they're just telling you in real time what it is. You just got to begin to figure it out to know uh, and, and follow the narratives to begin to understand who's going to be here. Now, remember, the Super Bowl is about a, a number of things. Teams coming together, mm -hmm. these owners all, all down with betting. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They got their own little boys club. And then there is a, 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 a metaphysical aspect of using archetype symbols mm. to represent something else. Yeah. And so there's so many different levels to this. Your energy now, the halftime uh, 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 event is just as important as the game. Which is... Which is crazy. Yeah. And so they're, they're, there's so much agendas going on. Somebody said ESPN is self-snitching. Absolutely. They self-snitching. Absolutely. Because now That's it's the perfect just, way to look it's, at it. It's in the yes. open now. It's out in the open now. Because, again, I remember um, I, I told you guys, we reported on a story when um, one of the draft analysts said somebody else was going first or something like that. But he works with, like, FanDuel or something. Oh, right. And then they're betting on who's going where. And these, yes. So, yes. Can't do it. It's you can't do that. That's like interest. crazy conflict of interest. And ESPN can do that now. And they can report on a team being bad, even though and who they runs win. Vegas? Who runs Vegas? Yes. Who's always run Vegas? Them peoples. The mafia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, them peoples part of that mafia yeah. too. And so now all of that stuff comes out of Vegas. Yeah. The point spread come out of where? Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. Right? So what we're talking about is still mafia run. They just sit behind the scenes yeah. and they're going to dictate and they never lose. The house never loses. I only need to be in charge of a few players on a team mm -hmm. to get this done. Quarterback, mm -hmm. point guard. Yeah. Few other players. Referee. Yeah. yeah. This is clearly pass interference at the Saints against, I yep. forget who was that year. And what they do, they got the call. Yeah. Keep it moving. Crazy. Yeah. So you might as well get in where you fit in. And if you can make a few dollars, make a few dollars. Side note, I'm winning. I will, I'm, uh, listen, I'm like, no, you, you, I'm like you, a point behind Eli. Yeah, yeah, you're in third place Eli. coming up behind me. But I, uh, 
I'm still, uh, you know, ahead. So, uh, real quick, this is breaking news. Uh, rapper Lil Reese, he was reportedly shot six times earlier today and is in critical condition. Jeez. Now, Lil Reese, he's been shot a bunch of times. He got shot in his neck like a couple years ago. Yeah, I remember. Pulled through. I think he was trying to rob somebody or something like that. It was something crazy. But, like, I'm reading the comments and everybody's going, again? Like, he's... Yeah, yeah. And, and so... These young people, man, they're fearless and they're immune to bullets and they think they're invincible. And if he pulls through this one, Sorry. ain't nothing you can tell him. Yeah, dude. Ain't nothing you can... When he should be doing a gospel album after that. Yes. Yeah. Thanking Jesus for surviving, he gonna go right back to the same-ish. Crazy. That I can tell you. So, um, we had to talk about this story. This story disturbed me, man. Um, Steve Perkins out of ATL. Steve Perkins out of Atlanta. A lot of you in the Atlanta area, Mary, heard about this. The tow truck, truck, truck driving situation where a tow truck driver was coming to get his vehicle because uh, it was being repoed. Mm -hmm. And he came out on his porch. I don't have all the details. Mm -hmm. And the tow truck driver went to the police department. Mm -hmm. And said, so and so, Steve Perkins pulled the gun on me. I'm coming to get a truck that should be repoed. When the police returned, they didn't come knock on the door and say, hello, this is the police department. Mm -hmm. Is there Steve Perkins here? Come out, show us your paperwork. This man has. No, they went around based on the neighbor's ring bell camera that they could see. They went around, turned the lights off, went around the back of his house. Mm. One sat down in between two neighbors' cars. Or Alabama. Alabama. Oh, it's Alabama? Okay, okay, Alabama, the fourth car. Thank you. Uh, uh, moved around, you know what I mean? And when he came out, the tow truck driver again tried to take his vehicle. He came out on the porch. Some people say he had a gun, a flashlight. Within two seconds, they fired 18 shots at him, hitting him seven times and killing him. Come to find out, his car was paid up, and the repo guy was at the wrong location. And so the outburst, then they tried to cover it up. Uh, you know, they tried to paint him in a bad light. They have yet to relieve, uh, release their body cam mm -hmm. footage, which was going to tell them everything they need to know. This was an execution. I don't care how else you dress it up and look around it. You do not identify yourself. You go hide around the back of the house. You're setting me up. Now, just because the guy got a tow truck don't mean he the repo man. That's true, too. He could be stealing my Especially car. if I know I'm paid. Especially if I know my, my bills is paid. Yeah. And for you to do that and execute this man at a little child, mm. uh, you know what I'm saying, and, and a family and all, our deepest condolences yeah. is... Go out to him. I think it, it was Alabama. I said Atlanta, yeah. I think. And so it's just sad situation. And we have to uh, stay uh, on top of this to make sure that they... Uh, and they said they still repossess this car? Bro, like, what can you tell me about that? Like, yes, I yes, yes. This, <sighs> this is a very, very bad situation. And not to segue off to that, but Suzanne Summers... Mm -hmm. Died. Now, you don't know who that is, I but don't. me and Mama Doc know who that is from a show, mainly Three's Company. Mm -hmm. Come and knock on my door. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> Kisses and hers and hers and his. Yeah, Three's man. Company, too. Now, the cool thing about this show is it had his first gay character in Jack. Uh, what was his name? The, the black guy. The, the, not the black guy, the guy. The, the premise of the show is these. Two girls mm -hmm. had a male roommate. Mm -hmm. The owner, Nichols, mm -hmm. would, would not let a regular male be there, so he had to act gay. Oh. You know what I mean? So oh. that was in the early 80s, maybe the 70s. It escapes me. One of my favorite shows as a kid watching. And so whenever uh, 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 the, the landlord came up, and he would say gay mm -hmm. things to him, so he would act it out. Oh. But he wasn't gay. He was really a ladies' man. You know what I mean? And so, uh, yeah, Jack Tripper. So 70s, 70s into the 80s. A lot of you guys know Mr. Roper. Yeah, yeah. Very good TV. So she passed away at 76. And she was into holistic health as well. She had a vagina um, a wash that she used. And she spoke a lot about to keep her, uh, I'm just saying, to okay. keep her with J.J. Young. She had some products out. 
uh, that were keeping her. She was 76. And uh, so, yeah. So all y'all used to watch the music company, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So um, uh, today on Twitter, or X, SEAL Team 6 was um, trending. So SEAL Team 6 is the, like, special forces of... Like the Navy SEALs. Like, the Navy SEALs are all special forces, but SEAL Team that, 6 that's is... That's that crew. That's yeah. that crew. Okay. So, apparently, the White House posted a picture of them meeting with Biden in Israel, showing their faces and everything. Okay, that's a violation. Yeah, and people was like, what the hell? That's a violation of all violations. Yeah, you, you can't just, do that. You just breached them. Now they can't work there. Right, basically. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this... this, this uh, Any questions in this... Uh, yeah, let's take some questions. This administration is nuts. This administration is crazy. Oh, let's talk about this story. I'm in Maryland. This guy named Nathan uh, Cannoli. Cannoli? Okay. Cannoli? Okay. Well, okay, black man, he's a professor, and he is suing an appraisal company because um, he the appraisal company uh, valued his house as 300000 300, more than previous after he took all the pictures of him and his family out and had a white man stand in on the appraisal process. Yes, yes. So, and this happened like three years ago with another family who yeah, did the yeah, same thing. Yeah, it, it happens. It's more common than you think it is. Yeah. It's just that a lot of black families don't go through the process yeah. of doing that, but they should so they can get the true value on your own because they, that's that, that's a form of discrimination, yeah, even they, if you are a homeowner. Absolutely. 300000 Now, if they would have said that it's a $40,000, I could say that's speculative. Mm -hmm. You know, one one uh, appraiser, 300000 is gross. Yeah. A gross miscalculation of your home, and I would sue. Yeah. Over and over again, because this is discrimination on top of discrimination. Not good. Dot, did you apply for your master's for your music? No, but I need to know how to do it because 35 years is up, and I would like to have it, just to have it. So I got to get on that. I'm going to get Mama Dot on it. Once I put Mama Dot on them kind of missions, <laughs> you know, she gets all the resources lined up. So I said, Dotson had a blast at Jackson State Homecoming. Yeah, I saw I saw videos. It looked dope. Did, okay, but I heard, didn't somebody... Get shot out there. Shot right? out there, yeah. Like, he was... Yeah, you know, yeah. But I saw the videos at the football game. It looked crazy. Cool. It looked crazy. Damn, Little Reese rapper got shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, six <laughs> times. Absolutely. So, uh, Puma signs. No, Reebok, Reebok signs. signed Andrew Reese. Yep. Andrew Reese. Yep. See, we were just talking about that. Yeah. yeah signed Andrew Reese. Um, so, she is um, their first. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you now. Reebok is going to make a comeback, so get the money early because they're giving it away early. Yeah. And so, you you know, you can go to Nike and and Adidas, uh, you know, but if you get that money because Reebok is making a comeback. So, uh, do you think DC Young Fly... Okay, so DC Young Fly, now he is the host of Celebrity Squares. Oh, so he upgraded. Now. He upgraded. He also announced that his sister passed away as well recently. Ooh, okay. Right? So, obviously, those, you know... Yeah, Broward County mm. officers. Everybody's yeah, for the PPP loan, 17 of them, I think, on Broward County, not to cut you off. Yeah. No, it's like... Uh, no. uh, uh, 17 police officers or Broward County corrections officers uh, have been arrested for PPP loan fraud. Oh, jeez. They're going to Yale. Jeez. Yeah. Malcolm, have you heard about Wale dropping... I think he signed with Def Jam now. He's got some new material really? coming out, I think. Yeah, I I'm not going to... I just... I haven't been listening to music... Uh, I've been new, on my new old music. school vibe lately. Yeah, new I've music lately. I just, vibe. I don't want to get my hopes up. Did you hear about Chinese people having to give up their land here in the U.S.? No, I No, didn't I haven't heard about mm -hmm. that. Did you guys hear the uh, residents of Chicago lost their lawsuit against the mayor? The migrants get to have a tent city? Gosh. <sighs> ah. All right. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of money is going to these migrants as well. Yeah. I saw like $9,000 to get them set up, apartments and all yeah, that. Yeah, man. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Malcolm, if you only add one thing in your marriage vows, what would it be? Only add one thing? Whoa. Thou shall obey. Hmm. You know, I don't know. I don't know. That's Thou a good, that's shut a... the fuck up and make a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> That works. <laughs> yeah, Sundays, leave me alone. Mm -hmm. That also not 
Mika World on Sunday when the game is on. Mike, what do you think about Miami versus Clemson? I don't know, man. Miami, like I said, after that that loss to Georgia Tech, which was a bad, bad, horrible loss. Yes, yes, that was bad. They just, yeah, they it's it's gonna hard from it's gonna be hard for them to recover. But Clemson is not as good because Dabo Sweeney, he's looking like really Bill Belichicky now. Oh, okay, you know okay, I mean? okay, okay. <laughs> like he was good. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they can have a chance. To win that game, somebody somebody asked I, I, my favorite um, uh, amusement park ride. I, it might be the King of Car at Six Flags. What's the one that shoot us way out? The King of Car, yeah, and shoot us back in reverse. Oh no, no. That was King of Car, but they stopped it because the reverse wasn't working. Well, I, or, or the nitro. I went on the nitro at night for at Fry Fest. Okay. Yes, and it was me, Avery, and two of my boys. Cause we went, it was with our school, and we sat on the very first seats. Oh yeah. And yeah. we went up and went and like when it was going down, it was pitch black. You couldn't see nothing. Oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah. I went. But on yeah, one, I can't. One of them joints. I, my my soul left my yeah, body. Yeah, I can't yeah. do roller coasters no more. I yo. can't. My head. Be yeah, moving, I, got, I, so I had a I'm headache last time I went, bro. Yeah, so I don't. I don't mess with. Now I go. I get in the virtual ones. That's. I'm not doing that. I'm not. No, 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 no. I draw the line. I'm not doing hey, that. Is that gay? That that is. Yeah, that Dude, is. So you never move. No, I'm not doing I feel that. I just want to draw the line. Green water. It's a screen. That's safe. No. We went on a virtual one across New York City, Yankee Stadium. This one, that. We never moved. They turned the lights on. I was in the same spot no. when I left, but I felt water, <laughs> heat. <laughs> I was over Yankee Stadium. That's uh, no. good enough for me now. No, so when I get no, my 3D you. glasses, that's the experience. Well, I'm not actually getting in line and Mm-mm. getting on the rides. No more. Yeah, yeah the El Toro. That, do I don't like the El Toro. That's the wooden one. No, that's the one. I thought I lost Eli. Yeah. That damn shit. <laughs> he was strapped in that shit. And, and he was saying, like, I don't want to do this, He y'all. said, I don't want to do this, Dad. And I'm saying, shut up. Stop being a fucking punk. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. He said, Dad, I don't want to do this. I'm not going to lie. I thought I lost that little nigga. I said, this shit is over. This shit is over. <laughs> Say it again, nigga. This shit is over. And I grabbed him, and I was I was scared for my life. That wooden ride. Yeah. I wasn't sure if his seatbelt was in right. That, that, that scared the shit out of me. But I said, let's get off this shit. Yeah. Uh, Malcolm, did you hear the Jonathan Greenblatt interview? He was on the Breakfast Club, I think. I'm not listening to no- nothing he has to say. Okay. Headed ADL, I'm not listening to nothing uh, he got to say. I don't want to hear that. Um, I heard a little bit of the West Side Gun album, though. No, no. I, I like West Side Gun. His how albums, was, his was, albums are always pretty good. Yeah, they're always pretty good. And and, and his art, he has his own lane. Yeah, his albums and, and always... And I saw Drake trying to uh, tap into his, his vibration. Let that go. Let that man have his lane. Yeah. I wonder if is A A Y C on that. I don't know. I gotta check. Okay, because he, he was on the last, last couple, yeah, couple of albums. Yeah, yeah. Shout out A A Y C. Um, I almost lost Eli. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was telling us, "Shut! I don't want to do this." He said, "I don't want to do this." <laughs> he was like, "Shut up, Eli. Shut up." We just waited in line. It's hot out here. Yeah, we are getting on this ride. Oh my mm-hmm. god. <laughs> Yo. Oh, they say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, track. he is. Okay. That's right, that's right. Okay, all right. So I heard a couple tracks just like in yeah. passing. How do you accept who they really are and they should be one? Why? What? How does one, that's what he meant. How does one accept who they really are? When should you be content with who they I, Matter of fact, Coach, when you got to rewrite that, I tried to yeah. save you. I tried to save you. He lied to Brother Rich and Supernova Slam. I don't know who, who you're talking about. I don't have no idea. Let's get a thousand likes. We got seven hundred and ninety-seven. Shit, we can't get five hours. We can't get likes. God damn it. Yo, Malcolm, you heard about Cop City? I heard about Cop City in Atlanta and these yes. mega prisons that they built. I heard yeah, about I heard those about as the well. Mega super max prisons that because it's building. like, well, why the hell are they doing that? Who they building? Also, for? I didn't know that um, if you uh, register for the draft, you get citizenship. Really? That's what somebody said. That's what somebody said. Because if that's the so case... So obviously they're all coming over here to register for the draft. That'd be crazy, right? And become citizens. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. 30%, guys. 30%. <laughs> we yeah, reserve you know, the we right. Have a 30% accuracy <laughs> we rate. We reserve here. the right. We reserve the right. Yeah. 
Uh, but other than that, guys, any other questions? This has been real. This has been another installment of the Urban X Podcast. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you again, bro. I need 250 new subscribers this weekend. You know who you are. Don't even hesitate. Make it happen for please, us. Please, Because we work hard. Unless there's something else we can give you. You want my veins? or What else you want? You know, we, we, we're doing our best to give you everything we can give you. Absolutely. And all we're asking for is some true support. We don't even have 2,000 subscribers. And I'm just being transparent with you. After all these years and all this time, all these subscribers. Jeez, help us out. Please. We'd appreciate Please. it. We'd appreciate it. We'd appreciate it. Uh, can you like, share, subscribe? Like I said, so members. Walter Johnson said we need more skits. God <laughs> damn it, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> and we give you the skits and you still won't give us five Listen. hours. Not you, Walter. I don't know. You know if you But um like I said, uh the members got a bunch of stuff in the membership this yes. weekend. You and guys we'll be see fed. Uh, you guys in the morning. In the morning, yes. Yes, morning the morning crew. We we've been on it. And so Mama Dot will close out the work week for us. And then I got the weekend. And then Malcolm handles the weekend. That's the for weekend. Us. Really right. dope <clears throat> setups. So uh peace. Peace. Thank you guys.